Me encanta de que ton. Va. Me encanta de que ton. Baile. Reggaeton es mi vida. Let's see what else we got going on here. Tigo, Tigo. Hey, ¿qué tal? Oh, yeah. Hey, un dólar. That's for you, bro. Sí. It's, it's for you? That's for me. <laughs> ah, okay. Just making sure. No olvide. Vale, vale, vale. Va pues. <laughs> All right. So I just gave that man a dollar. I should have got a tip. Seguro. Ah, sí. Saludos. All right. Chivo, Chivo. So we got Digicel workers here, Tigo workers here. Everyone's working here. Everyone's doing good here in Sonsonate. All right. Time to cool down here in La Niveria. La Niveria. Because it is super hot out here. So I need to cool down with a nice mega Sunday in La Niveria. Señora Garcia, ¿cómo se dice this empresa? La Neveria? La Neveria. La Neveria. I always get that wrong. Okay, muchas gracias. All right, and I have a spoon and everything. Buen provecho. Thank you, buen provecho. Wow. So definitely come to Cincinnati and come to La Neveria and get yourself a mega Sunday. Woo! All right, La Niveria here in Sonsonate next to Parque Campos. I think I have bubble gum in here. Look at this, look at this right here, boy. Let me see how it tastes. Mukbang! Mmm, woo, that baby sugary in the mug, boy. Bubble gum ain't no joke. Mmm. Hola. Oh yeah, I love it, man. Everyone is so kind. My goodness. Here I am on a hot, hot, hot springtime day here in Sonsonate. And I'm looking for some more fruits. And I see this lovely, beautiful chiquita right here making or scraping off some type of fruit. But I don't know what this is. So, no se que llama. ¿Cómo le llama esto? Mango. This is mango? Mango chiquito. Oh, wow. And so, is this mamón? Okay, ¿cuánto por un bolsa? Un dólar. Vaya. All right. We're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna table that. All right. We got some avocados. And is this is mango también or? Mamey. Well, this is mamey. Okay, so I, I had this earlier from my other video in Santa Ana. So they call that mamey zapote, and they put that a lot into their ice creams and things like that. So I've had that. I walked around with that bag. I'm done with mamey. I know the mango is good. So, but I'm definitely gonna get some mamon. So we have some nances, banana or banano? Banana, that's how you call it. And hola, como estas? All right, and I've seen this many times. What, is, what do we have there? Mango gallado. Mango? Gallado. Gallado? What is gallado? Is un, un fruta? Si. Sí. Ay. Es fruta. Okay, and, what, and this is? Mango. Mango también, but more, more bigger. Okay, so, yo quiero uno, bolsa de mamón. So let's get you going. Si, sí. un dólar. Vaya. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat it in front of you. Gracias por más. Okay, muchas gracias. So she gave me a little bit more, but I did remember I'm gonna be a lot more nicer on my trip. And give a little bit more back to the people. Let's do it. All right. So mamon is all I want right now. Vaya. Okay. That's so that's that's for you. Para para usted para vos. Okay. Vaya. So the señora gave me some mamon. So let me go ahead and try this out. So señora, cómo? How do you eat this? Do I do I eat it with a? You just just break the case of it like this. Oh. Oh, let's not ruin it. Come me boca like this. Huh? Huh? Right. Mm. Right there? Do you do you come with the semilla or no? No come? Mm. 
So, it's definitely hairy. It's like a hairy fruit. But, there's not much juice that I can get from it. It's like you just suck it over and over. And that's pretty much it. So, I don't know how long I'm supposed to keep it in my mouth, but it's kind of tart. So if you never had mamon, it's almost like a lime. I guess they call it a Spanish lime. So that's what mamon is. But it's okay. All right. Well, gracias, muchas gracias, Toro, okay? Well, all right, have a nice day. Woo. <laughs> Bonus. What's good, everyone? This is your boy JC Max with the answers to the most recent JC Max Geography Time. Recently, I asked a question on my community tab, which stated, What continent is? Guatemala in and oh my goodness I can tell you guys I was simply surprised at the answers we have 3% for Antarctica 2% chose Europe an astounding 86% chose Central America 1% chose South America and 9% chose North America before I give you the answer let me go ahead and pretty much give an understanding of what a continent is. Generally, continents are identified by convention rather than any strict criteria, and its count is up to seven geographical regions. So right now we have seven continents and five oceans. And while researching this, I came to understand why many people in the comment section stated the answers that they stated. So in different regions of the world, some people see that the land masses are six rather than seven. Some other countries choose five. A little background on me, when I grew up, I was taught that there were seven continents. And I'll go ahead and list them. We have Asia, Europe, Africa, Australia, North America, South America, and Antarctica. And so after naming those seven continents, I did more research and I found out from the mid 19th century atlases published in the United States more commonly treated North and South America as separate continents while atlases published in Europe usually considered them one continent. However, it was still not uncommon for American atlases to treat them as one continent up until World War II. So from the 1950s on, most U.S. geographers divided the Americas into two continents. With the addition of Antarctica, that made the seven-continent model. However, this division of the Americas never appealed to Latin Americans, who saw their region spanning in America as a single landmass and there, the conception of six continents remains dominant as it does in scattered other countries. So after reading that, that gives an understanding as to why so many people stated America as one continent and some just stated that Guatemala was in the American continent, which is true. But remember, that was not one of the choices, okay? I split the choices into multiple continents and many chose incorrectly i did not have america as one okay i separated it as two okay so we're past that furthermore earlier today i went around and i asked some people close to me i asked them when you were growing up what did they teach you did they teach you seven continents or less and every single one of them stated seven i even asked someone who grew up in the philippines and i asked what did they teach you and the answer was seven. And so after doing more research, I found out that the seven continent model is usually taught in most English speaking countries, including the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, and also in China, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, the Philippines, and Western Europe. So definitely it makes sense to why some countries were taught one thing and why some countries were taught another. Well, back to my questioning. So let's look at my options again. Antarctica, Europe, Central America, South America, North America. My question was, which continent is Guatemala in? 
and overwhelmingly, 86% chose Central America. Understandably, I do know that some people like to consider subcontinents as continents, but you cannot essentially consider Central America a continent if you're going to consider it a subcontinent. It's either America, if that's what you learned, just it being one, or simply North America or South America. So that essentially leaves only two options. So Central America would be cut out completely because, as you know, it is not a continent. So my questions essentially force you to revert to the seven continent model and not the six because those are the only options that were given. And so, alas, the answer is North America. So let's go to the map. If you see the map, you'll see that every single country, all the way from Panama and up, is North America, okay? Central America is not a continent, it's just a region of North America, okay? So even the Caribbean is North America, even Mexico is North America, even El Salvador is North America, and this is the seven continent model. I know so many different countries like to change their classification of continent but even if such if you want to consider america as one do that but either way central america would still not be considered a continent all right well i hope this clears this up for you guys i hope this was educational i try to make every video as educational as possible on this channel please don't feel slighted i do understand that we were taught different things but overall still understand that central america is not a continent okay all right, well, overall, I hope you have a blessed day. More quizzes and geography to come. Once again, don't be upset. I'm all here for the learning. I even learned a lot just by researching. So it's actually pretty cool. I'm learning as I go. Either way, have a blessed day. More to come. Me encanta reggaeton. Bye.